Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Mike Bowens with you, ready to motivate you through the Word of God. We come to unleash the creativity within you. This is how we doing it. We doing it big this morning. We doing it big every day for the rest of our lives. Hey, you may cook the best macaroni and cheese that anybody has ever tasted. Why don't you box it up, put it in some little tins or some little cartons and start selling it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's your man Mike Bowen's coming to you once again, live and direct from unleashing the creativity within you. I got a powerful message I want to share with you out there today. This is called, What's the Point of Being Average? Ooh, that speaks volumes to me because in order to separate yourself from the pack, you got to be above average. In order to separate yourself from the pack, you got to be willing to give more, do more, you know, and, and, and expand yourself past your capacity, right? So now, if, if people in your class are just doing average work, you know, in order to establish yourself you got to go above average you got to ask questions you got to stay late you got to get to class early ask questions where you don't understand certain things if you play sports you got to show up early you got to stay later if you want to be one of the best and who have ever did it in your field you got to do more than what your competition is doing and anything in life there's competition right like I said before your first competition is yourself but other than that, in real life, when you're going for a job, you have a resume, other people have a resume. They look over your credentials, they look over other people's credentials. What are you bringing to the table? Are you just giving average? Are you giving an average effort or are you giving above average effort, right? My wife is a vlogger, she's grinding. She's above average, right? She's putting her best foot forward because this is what she wants out of life. Now, in your life, do you want an average life? And only you can define what's average for you. But do you want average or do you want to be above average? Do you want to be a person who people look at and say, man, they go all out in this. They go all out in this particular field, right? So don't kid yourself. Be honest with yourself. That's going to be the, the thing that's going to get you over the hump is you being honest with you and saying, you know what? I haven't been giving my all in this area. I haven't been giving it my all in my marriage. I haven't been giving it in my all as a parent my all as a parent with my children. I haven't been giving it my all with my body. I haven't been giving my all in my career. I want to encourage you today to give it your all, right? What's the point of being average? What's the point of living, dying, you know, living and just existing, right? Nobody knows who you are. You have done nothing to make a mark in this world. How have you made other people's life better? Even if that's just your immediate family, how are you making their lives better? And please don't tell me by just going to work and making the bacon. Now, if you're a single mom, that's an awesome thing. Or if you're a stay-at-home mom, listen, let me encourage you ladies. You're making everybody's life better by being home because you're cooking food, you're doing the laundry, you're taking care of the house. If you estimate how much of a salary that is, you can't even put a number on that thing because that is hard work. Now, if you're a man and you're going to work and you're taking care of your family, that is honorable too. But when you go home, do you just sit on the couch and turn TV on? You don't spend no time with your wife. You don't spend no time with your kids. That's average. Above average is you go to work and you come home and you spend the time with your wife. You're playing with your kids. You're helping out doing, hey, honey, you want me to do dishes? Hey, honey, you want me to take out the garbage? You're, you're putting in that work because you're going above and beyond what the norm is because you want to have an above average life. What's the point of living average? What's the point of being a, a person who just does things on, a, on an average level? You want to be a person who does things in excellence, a person who does things on a higher level, because when you put that type of energy in, that's what you get out. And I want you to remember this if you don't remember anything else. Whatever you put in life is what you're going to get out. If you want something better, if you want something more, you got to put in more. You got to put it, be willing to put in the work, right? And we can't complain to God or complain to other people. Life is not fair. I'm not getting what I thought I should have. Life is exactly fair that it will give you what you put into it. Does that make any sense to anybody out there? Boom! That's a bomb going off if I ever heard one. Because once you understand that, Life is not going to be fair. It's going to take people who are tenacious. It's going to take people who say, you know, I won't settle for less than God's best 
for my life and I'm going to do what I need to do. If it means going back to school, I'm going to go back to school to get my degree. I'm just not going to go. I'm going to go and finish. And I'm not just going to go and finish. I'm going to be magna cum laude. Did I even say it right? Right? I'm going to get the best grades that I can for me because I'm just not going to go and waste my time. Right? You're not going to get that back. Time. You're not going to ever get that back. So what's the point of being average? What's the point of living a life that you're never going to get that time wasted back? Every second counts. Every moment counts. And I want you to make every moment the best that it could be for your life. This is your man, Mike Bowens, and telling you what's the point of living average when God created you to be great. Until next time, be blessed.